Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to a brand new Let's Build. So guys, I'm here on the world with the HDTV Dream Homes. We got the 2016 build over here, and the 2015 build right over there. And I went ahead and cleared out some space just to the left of the 2016 home. And I'm going to be starting a brand new Let's Build for you guys today. We're gonna to be building a brand new house. And the style of house we're gonna go for is going to be an A-frame modern house. So I might be a little bit late to the party on this particular style of building in Minecraft. This was a trend that was going around quite a bit about two years ago. And um, it's always been kind of interesting to me, these kinds of houses, because this style of architecture isn't necessarily a real thing. Uh, there are A-frame houses in real life, but not in the way that people do them in Minecraft. And that's kind of how I'm gonna be basing this off of. So. Um, it's going to be interesting for me because I'm going to have to kind of go off of things that have been built in Minecraft before and that's going to make it challenging in terms of creating my own style but I think I have a cool idea in mind so I'm going to get started with it. Alright guys so here's just a little sketch of my initial plans for this house. Again this is no Mona Lisa or anything like that but it'll get the job done and give me something to refer to in the early parts of this build so uh, this is going to be you know generally what I'm going to be going on for this thing so let's jump into the building so i kind of have a little starter block over here and i'm going to try to build the first episode today i'm going to try to get much of the front done to get you guys a general idea of what this is going to look like so this might be a little bit of a longer video possibly depending on how long it takes me to do this and i'm going to try to start building this thing from left to right so let's go ahead and do this i'm just going to start by laying out like a little line here so let's just place a few blocks and we'll just start off with something like that so these A-frame houses, right, this is, again, like I said, a style that was going around a lot in Minecraft, I would say about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and for some reason I never really got into this style of build. Uh, I never ended up building a house like this, and I'm not really sure why that was. I think it was maybe something that I, just, I don't know, I just couldn't find a way to differentiate it from other people's builds or something like that, but I, I don't know, I feel like it's an interesting style. And I think it's interesting because it was something that was kind of created in Minecraft. Like, again, like this style of build that I'm going to be doing, you just don't see stuff like this in real life. It's almost like this style of architecture was like invented on Minecraft, which I think is kind of interesting. So I'm going to give this a try. I don't do a whole lot of modern Let's Builds on this channel. And I know you guys like modern houses. That that's probably one of the most popular styles of building you can do. Uh, and I don't really do a whole lot of those. So I thought it would be fun to do one for once to kind of give you guys... You know, just another style of something I can do. So I'm going to be trying out this A-frame style of modern. All right, guys, to kind of get a start on this house, I put together, I guess, one half of the A, I guess. So if this is going to be an A-frame house, we're going to need to have these big slanted roofing designs. And that's kind of like the first thing I was going to put in. So uh, what I'm going to try to do, and this is kind of where I got my inspiration for this particular build, is trying to do something like kind of like an enlarged version of like the little modern house that i did on skyblock right that small little avery house so i'm going to try to do like a larger version of that more or less uh with obviously more detail and a little bit more style put into it so uh, we'll see what we can come up with here so we have, kind of have to start here and we got this slanted roof and what i want to do is kind of put in a pillar that's going to more or less divide this part of the building so let's just see what we can do I'm gonna take it out a few blocks right here, probably make it like three blocks wide, bring it back. And I'm just gonna take this up a bunch of blocks here. So we got, um, let's see, we got three so far. I wanna take it up so it's like just going past like the, the, I guess the wooden part of the roof. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You know, I, I probably should have done it on this side first. So we got two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, uh, if I just kind of fill this in straight down, what I what I'm going for here is kind of just taking this across, so it'll just kind of go just past the roof here, and that's that's looking pretty good. What I might do is just kind of top this off here with a lining of slabs and kind of have that run through. So. We'll put that in and then let me just kind of fill this pillar in and see what I see what I think of it but again it's gonna be a modern style of build and of course I have kind of like a sketch of it of like my idea in my head because that's always what I like to do whenever I'm doing you know a new concept for a build just do a little sketch of it can't hurt you just have something to base it off of so even if it's like the most 
silly looking thing in the world because I'm not like the best artist or anything like that. So I just did like a little sketch of it and that's that's helping me out for sure. So I'll kind of be basing off of that, but I'll, for the most part, you know, make changes if I need to. But right here we have a little pillar that goes straight through the slanted wooden roof and I think that's good. So the next thing I kind of want to do here is just basically fill in this wall right here, kind of get that put in. And this is going to be the first let's build that I've done in the last few of them. That's been like an, I wouldn't, I don't want to say an original concept, but like what my own plans and designs, right? So the last one was obviously the HGTV dream home, which was a recreation. So the, uh, more what I should be saying is this is going to be the first one in a while that hasn't been a recreation. So I think that's fun. Doing my own style and designs is always cool as well. So I like doing the recreations, but this is really what I enjoy, like doing my own stuff. All right, so we're gonna put in a window there. I'm gonna wanna go like four by two, but place some slabs on it. And I'm thinking below here, since this is kind of like a little corner, that I might wanna do like a little platform here, just to kind of make it look a little bit more modern. That's the only way I can explain it, honestly. This is just, this is just free form here. I'm just going for it. But we'll kind of have that run across the front. And maybe that'll look good. Let me take a step back here, so. Uh, yeah, I like that. All right, so we'll go with something like that, and then we kind of have the window behind it. And that shapes that space pretty nicely. By the way, guys, I didn't really mention this, but I planted a tree out in the front. This is a nice looking tree. Um, I just thought I would start off the build with the tree. Why not? <laughs> so we have that there, which kind of will help frame the property. And I kind of had that in my sketch as well. But let's continue onward here. So next thing I want to do is grab some wood. I'm trying to decide which wood I want. I'm torn between uh, spruce wood Jungle wood. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not using jungle wood. Uh, spruce wood or acacia wood. I'm not sure which one I want to go with here. I'm th I'm leaning towards acacia wood. Let me let me give that a try, because I do like myself some acacia wood. Big fan. So we'll take that up a few blocks here. I don't know how many. We'll take it up maybe five. And this right here is going to be where the front door of the build is. So I'm going to put some glass above that. Five blocks tall seems adequate. Uh, we'll go with that to kind of get started here. So we have that put in. Next thing I want to do is kind of take a couple of blocks across right here. And what this is going to be, any, everything to the right of what I've built already, I'm going to start putting garages in. Uh, I've noticed, you know, just like doing some research on what other people have done with this kind of style, is they have like a garage that's kind of small and off to the side. I would like to make two garage doors on this build and try to make it like a pretty decent sized space. So uh, let's, let's just get started here and see what we can come up with. So we got a couple of blocks out. Let's go ahead and add a few more right here to kind of frame that shape. And as far as the garage door is concerned, as far as what block I want to use, I might go with the dark oak wood planks. I might go with some sideways pillared quartz like I normally do. Or I could go with something completely different like chiseled quartz blocks could be pretty good for it. Um, I might go with that. I don't know if that's going to look good or not. So I'm really not decided on this at this point. So I might just go with a block that's in my inventory just so I don't have to keep switching it back and forth. So let's just do like a four by four garage door, something simple. And then let me go ahead and take it out a few more blocks here. Start to fill this in, run this across, and then of course, get this all filled in as well. And there we go. And there's our garage door. Let's put a couple of slabs going across the front here to kind of frame that shape there. So we got ourselves a little garage door, that's fine. I might even throw a Danville's anvil right there. That seems like a quality spot for it. Or what I could do is have like a wall run across here and have that like kind of like frame the space a little bit. That could work as well. Who knows? We'll, we'll figure that stuff out later. But uh, another idea that I had for this garage is kind of making it not on the same level. And I had this idea from an old uh, build that I did, the Japanese estate. The garage doors weren't like lined up with each other on that build. Like there was, they weren't right next to each other. You kind of had to go back a little bit to get to the second one. And I'm gonna try to do that same concept on this build. So we'll see what we can come up with here. So we got, uh, let's see, we got uh, two, then three, then four, then two. Let's take this back. I wanna say three more blocks is fine. I'll kind of curve that towards this way. Place three more blocks, or four more blocks for garage door number two. And then we'll place three more blocks there. And then this will turn back in this direction and go however far back we need to go. Don't have a lot of space back here uh, initially. Again, this isn't gonna be a huge house. It might it might look big off the start, but it won't be that big. 
Uh, and of course, I can always just clear out this mountain if I need to. That's no problem. Again, this is a lot of flat space, you know, relatively flat. So as long as I don't get it far enough back to where I'm bonking into this big hill, should be fine. As you can see, with this build, I went really, really far back, and I was pretty good. So we should be all right with that. I'm not wor really worried about the landscape. This is a great place to build houses. Okay. By the way, let's get back to the task at hand here. Let's go ahead and try to fill in... Let's fill in the rest of this garage like we did for the first one, the garage door. Do it four by four. And again, don't have a specific block that I'm gonna choose for these garage doors in mind just yet, but I'll come up with that eventually. So of course this will get filled in around the corner here, but I'm not really worried about that right now. I kinda wanna get the front of the house figured out first, and then we can spend maybe next episode on some floor planning and we'll figure out all the logistics after that. But let's get like a concept going first. All right, so we have so, you know, obviously the, we have the slanted part of the roof, which kind of represents that A-frame style. Got some, we got a bunch of different colors here, which I like. I don't want to just use like gray and white. Uh, mixing in some wooden colors is pretty nice so far. The next thing I want to do is add some sort of balcony, okay? So I'm going to go back to the wooden planks here, the uh, dark oak wood planks. I'm going to have these run down. I'm not really sure how far. Maybe just like just past the first garage and then have it turn back in this direction. And I want to create this. I want to take this two levels, by the way. I want to make it kind of thick. I want to create a little balcony here that kind of covers up the garage a little bit. It, do, it takes emphasis off the garage. And it'll be kind of like a second story balcony, more or less, for this building. So let's go ahead and start to fill this in. Uh, so what I'm, I'm going to double stack this here. Uh, one, because I like the thickness in the front of the build a little bit. And two, because I can actually double stack it and create a different color roof and a different color floor or whatever ceiling and floor whatever you want to call it so we'll get this filled in here and then we're going to have a wall run across somewhere back here we'll, we'll figure that out in a second but let's just get this filled in real quick we'll take this to maybe take it to the edge of this pillar and then we can go from there so next thing i have to figure out is the height of the ceiling from the first to second floor obviously since this is going to be an a-frame house the second floor surface area will not be nearly as large as the first floor, which is, come, you know, we would expect that. So second floor, I'm probably just going to have like a master bedroom. And that's probably about it. Kind of similar to that building in terms of first floor has got a lot more space than the second floor. So we'll go with that. And honestly, so far, just kind of take a step back from this angle. I, I do like it so far. So we're on, we're on the right track here. Let's just keep going. Let's just see what we can come up with. But anyway, let's take a look here. We can't neglect this. We got to make sure we figure this out. So I guess I can do a five block tall ceiling. So right here could be the ceiling for the first floor. And of course, we'll just fill this in with white for now. We might switch out the color later, of course. You guys know that though. And we'll kind of have that run across. So we got the floor, which would be right here. And I got to replace that door real quick. There we go. So the floor would be here. And there's really no need to have like a step up. We'll just have this dug right into the ground. That's fine. I don't need any elevation for this build. Not too worried about it. And of course, there's going to be a corner right here, obviously. So we'll figure that out later. But that is going to be the corner. So again, this house isn't going to be that big. Uh, it it'll, should look pretty good, though, hopefully. I'm, I'm just uh, getting started, though, to be honest. All right, so we have a one, two, three, four, five block tall ceiling. That should be good. So obviously, we need to double stack the floor. So we're going to do a double stack job here with some dark oak wood and that does line up here with the second level so that that's good that's good we're making good progress so next thing to do would probably be to double stack this kind of you know make sure that pillar isn't being shown on the inside and then let me just take a a wall across right here so we'll just take that across let's see one two three four five should be good and then i'm thinking that we can place a window and a door uh, first things first, actually. You know what you know, should determine this? I should take this straight up and see if I want to take this out any further and see if I want to line it up. Do I want to take it out one block past and have it go there? Let me, let me look at it from the front here to kind of get an idea. Um, I do like the idea of having it sticking out a little bit further than that wall, but I think we'll be good. Let's go with that. All right, so let me let me get this filled in here so we can get an idea of where we want to put a window and where we want to put a door because we need to be able to access this balcony but I also want to have a nice window here because I think it'll look good. Okay, so, well, I guess we can just put the window there. Um, should we put the window in the middle? 
I kind of want to have the window go like straight through and have it connect from the floor all the way up to the top. So we'll have it run up to there. And then I'll place a an upside down stair right here. I think that'll look good. All right, so that window, I think that looks pretty good right now. It definitely needs a little bit more detail. So let's see what we can do here. I think what I'm gonna do next is place the door on this corner like that. So it'll it'll kind of just be on the edge there, which is fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. And then what I think I might do is have like some sort of pillar design run across through here. That way it kind of like divides the window a little bit and divides that space. And what I also might do is make it double stacked like I did for this first one, because I really do like that having it double stacked. I think it looks a little bit more modern. So let me take a look here. Um, you know, that's, that's not too bad. I might want to take this out two blocks off the edge here, just so it's kind of, it distinguishes itself a little bit more. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll do. All right, so that's fine. All right, so next thing I want to do, take this out a few blocks. We got uh, four is fine for now. Kind of have this run across through here. And then we're going to get this filled in. So this will just be kind of a corner. There, most likely, though, the master bedroom will be up here. So this door will be accessible through the master bedroom, most likely. That's how that's all going to work itself out later on. But again, not too worried about that right now. So we kind of have that corner. And then really what I want to do next is take another wall going across here. And I'm not sure how far I want to take this one. Um, I think this will depend on like the next part of the A. So I want to add kind of like the second part of the A. Right now we have just like half of the A because we're doing like the A frame shape. That's the whole point. So we have like the first half of it and the second half I want to do like right here. So do I want I see what I did on the first one is I kind of had it double stacked. So there's two full blocks in between the two stairs. I'm thinking that since this one's taller, it should be thicker. So I'm thinking this one will just be one block in between the stairs. So we'll make it a little bit less thick all the way down. So we'll just have this run down until probably here. So let's let's just go for that see what we can come up with this might have to get changed because i'm not even sure if this will look good but we'll put it in first before we judge it okay so again guys i'm also doing this in the city texture pack of course i haven't did you know nothing is this is the first episode so nothing is set in stone i might switch this to another texture pack if i decide that it doesn't look as good in this one and speaking of whether things look good or not I like that. I think that kind of fits that shape nicely. It starts to make me want to change the color of this balcony though, because it's kind of connecting there and I don't like, actually that doesn't look too bad because it kind of connects toward the middle there. That was not intentional. So that looks good. All right, well, let's just fill this in. We, we can't really judge it yet. We got to get the full picture here. So let me fill this back wall in, get this put in here and it's going to be something like that. Uh, but what I really should be doing is coming in here and placing the upside down stairs so I can connect it to the wall. And this is going to kind of frame the second floor of the house more or less here. So we're already making some good progress. Okay, so let me take that across right there and there and have that run down. And then really for the rest of this space here, we'll just fill this in so I can break that. And just fill this in with the rest of the light gray wool. Take that across there. And let's fly over here and take another look at it from the front. That's not too bad. I, I think that looks pretty good. Let me take a look at it from a couple different angles here. From this angle, I think it looks the best, personally. So I'm starting to starting to dig this a little bit. I think this is looking pretty good. Um, what else can we do to this thing right now? Because this is a really good start. I mean, obviously, I want to add some sort of railing on this balcony so people don't just fall off, obviously. No one's going to buy the house if they're just going to fall off. <laughs> so I'll probably add that later. Uh, really, the last thing I want to do right now is maybe add just a little bit more of ab abstract shapes, possibly. So two ideas that come to mind right away would be to add another little A-frame shape on the other side over here. And I'm trying to decide where exactly I want to put something like this. Might take this up an extra level and then do it right here like one block off to the the right of the quartz lining. And then my idea would be to do something like this. I just, this might, this might look weird. Again, 
the whole thing might look weird so i don't know you guys be the judge but let's just go ahead and try it out because it's there's no harm in trying something all right we'll never know if it looks good if we don't try so just kind of like an abstract shape on the side of this garage over here to kind of fit the a-frame theme and it more or less like ultimately connects one side to the other do you guys think that's too much i actually don't mind that to be honest with you guys but i think this is a kind of a good start i, I don't know i'm i'm starting to dig this a little bit let me let me add some details here um maybe some upside down stairs just to kind of like just to make that stand out a little bit more maybe we can put a danville's anvil right here i'll clear my inventory for that i feel like the ideas are just flowing right now all right so maybe just like a three block tall danville's anvil and let's take a look at this from an, from another angle here you know i i think this is looking pretty good i really do i think for like for the start for like a little pilot episode i thought i did a pretty good job with it you know this is this is the a-frame minecraft architecture right this is the style that used this used to be like a hot thing back in the day I la i'm late to the party here but I, I think this looks pretty good um the one thing that kind of bugs me is the color of the garage doors i might switch that out so it's not too much uh, dark oak wood but really my next step would be to add um like a driveway right and then a connection to the front door so we'd have that kind of run straight down and i want to put some nice big trees in the front yard add lots of flower beds with all the flowers that have been added to the game do all that stuff i think this has potential guys i really do for like a little pilot episode so i think that's where i'm gonna close it off for today guys um thank you very much for watching i'm i'm excited for this let's build i think this has potential to be pretty cool so it's definitely like an abstract design it's very modern um it's some, this kind of stuff i don't really do very often so it's kind of fun refreshing for me uh, let me know what you guys think about this build. Do you think I should change anything right off the bat? Uh, I think, again, like I said, from like right here, I think that looks pretty cool. I'm not so sure about that right there. That looks a little bizarre. But other than that, though, I think I can get I could. I think I can work with this. I really do think I can. Uh, maybe I take this down, like another block here. So that's like connecting to, should be like one block behind it or one or connecting to it. Maybe like right there. I don't know, something like that. Maybe we'll move this back one block. That way it's not like exactly connecting. Something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out. But I honestly think this looks pretty good so far. So guys, thanks for watching. It's been Dan Langs. This is episode one of the A-Frame Modern House Let's Build. This is something, this is a little bit different. This is crazy. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a like if you did. We're going to try to bring this Minecraft trend back, right? This is an old one, but we're going to bring it back into the limelight. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Dan Lags. I'll see you guys on the next one. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this house, and I'll come back to you guys for episode two of this series in a few days. Have a good one, and peace out. <laughs>